What up everybody, Blaze One Sports, and today we're going to go over the, 20, the NFL 2022 draft, all the Dallas Cowboys selection. This draft was kind of a, a disappointment to Cowboys fans. We didn't really draft anybody except for in the third round, supposedly we got a steal in the draft. But other than that, uh, we passed up on Tyler Linderbaum, which would have been a good pick. I think that's who everybody wanted, the center. But then if we got him, we would have had to move a uh, badass. And then he's kind of small to move the guard or whatever. But he wasn't doing too good. He kind of was like letting the pass rushers through. So Tyler Badass wasn't really doing good last year. Towards the end, they should have just drafted a uh, Linderbaum and they could have got rid of him or moved him or whatever. So instead with the first round, uh, first round pick in, in the NFL draft, the Cowboys selected Tyler Smith, offensive tackle, or I he's either a guard or tackle out of uh, Tulsa. But their plan is, I think he's a tackle, but since uh, Steele is going to play tackle this year, they're going to try to move uh, Tyler Smith to guard. I don't know if that's going to work out or not, but that's what everybody's saying. That's who uh, Mel Kuyper predicted to get drafted, and that's who the Cowboys ended up picking, but a lot of Cowboys fans are not happy with that pick. But if he turns out to play good, then it'll be good because uh, our offensive line, we have a lot of holes this year, and our offensive line wasn't doing good last year. So we need more offensive line help. It's just Tyler Smith is kind of a, a considered a reach. Maybe we could have got him in the second round. We should have got Linderbaum with that pick. I'm pretty sure he was still available. Linderbaum would have been the better pick. He was the name. He was a better player, I think. And we needed that center play because Badass, he's just, he wasn't doing too good. He seemed all right, but he just wasn't um, good at blocking. So we should have got Linderbaum at least. But we go with Tyler Smith. And like I said, a lot of Cowboys fans are mad about that pick. But if he turns out to play good, like how Zach Martin turned out a couple years ago, then it'll be all right. You know, that's what we need is offensive line anyways. Second round pick, a little bit better pick, Sam Williams, the defensive end or the edge out of Miss, uh, Mississippi. Sam Williams looks good. He looks like another Micah, Par like a Micah Parsons. Um, I think that was a decent pick. You know, number 56 overall. He's one of the best pass rushers in 2021. Off the field, red flags, though, caused him to slide down in the draft, but he could be a still in the draft. So Sam Williams, look for him with the second-round pick. The edge out of Mississippi, kind of excited about that pick. Like Michael Parsons overplayed last year, and Sam Williams could be this year's Michael Parsons. With the third pick in the draft, this was considered the still of the draft. A lot of uh, Cowboys fans are saying they're happy with this pick. One of the best receivers uh, in the draft, and the Cowboys with the number 88th pick, uh, select Jaleen Tobler. Tobert, the wide receiver out of South Alabama. He's a deep vertical threat who can play all three wide receiver spots in the slot on the outside. Sun Belt Offensive Player of the Year in, uh, last year, two time first team All American in the Sun Belt. He's expected to fill the role of Cedric Wilson since Cedric Wilson left. I think he went to Buffalo. Or Miami but uh with Cooper gone CD Lamb being moved to number one they needed more wide receivers um they had that rookie from two years ago Fohoko or whatever and then they got CD Lamb and then they got uh I forgot who they re-signed but getting rid of Cooper their solid number one possession receiver I don't think that was that good of an idea since they got rid of him, they needed to bring in more wide receiver help, and they signed Washington as a free agent. But so what some are considering another steal of the draft is their number three, third-round pick, Jalen Tobler. Like I said, the wide receiver out of South Alabama. He's expected to do good. He's going to fill the slot. And the Cowboys always draft good. They draft these players that um, people aren't really expected to, for them to draft, and they end up playing good. So if Tobler plays through, plays good, and then Sam Williams, you know, like every year the Cowboys players, they do pick some good picks, some good, some not. But these two, uh, number two pick and the number three pick seem solid. And if they play up to potential, then, you know, they're going to pan out. Number fourth, uh, in the fourth round, number 29, 129th overall, the Cowboys select Jake Ferguson, the tight end out of Wisconsin. Really don't know too much about him. Um, I don't, don't really know about that pick because I'm pretty sure we still got uh, we brought back uh, most of our tight ends So I don't even really know if we need a, another tight end. He probably won't see too much playing time Unless there's an injury 
but uh, he holds the Wisconsin school record for most games with the catch. He's a former four-star recruit, and he's from a strong football lineage. So Jake Ferguson, tight end out of Wisconsin, maybe they'll move him, different position, whatever. But we'll just have to wait and to see. Don't know too much about him. So, so far, the first pick was kind of underwhelming. The next two picks were a lot better. I think the next the round two and round three pick were better than the round one pick. Now we got round five, number 155 overall. The Cowboys got an offensive tackle, Matt Walzeko from North Dakota. So another offensive lineman to help bolster that uh, offensive line. He's a second team, all Missouri Valley Football Conference honoree, team captain at North uh, Dakota, and uh, he was used as a receiver once in uh, his college play. So Matt Vlecchio, offensive tackle. Maybe they use him some at tight end, but that's another offensive lineman to help bolster that offensive line that's been hurt. Um, when the Dallas offensive line is bad, the team is bad. And when it's good, the team is good. So they need to, um, you know, draft, sign someone, free agent. But like I said, Tyler Linderbaum, they should have drafted him. They passed on him. So hopefully the other one works out. In the sixth round, or in the, uh, number, never mind, in the, the uh, second, fifth round pick that they have, number 167 overall, they select Deron Bland, cornerback out of Fresno State. Uh... He runs the 40 dash and a four and a half. Uh, Cowboys were interested in him and he was there. Uh, he could also play safety. So Deron Bland should help their backfield, especially with um, their wide receiver right now, uh, Kelvin Joseph, um, in a murder case right now. So they don't even know if he's going to play. He's like one of the suspects or he's tied to it or something. So he might have legal uh, financial troubles coming up. Cowboys always looking to solidify their backfield. They always have uh, their safety and cornerback play isn't too good, but Ty Diggs last year um, with all those interceptions looking playing better than Deion Sanders. Looking real good. He's a breakthrough player. So their defensive backs are kind of all right right now. But, you know, you can never use a get enough help. So Deron Bland with the number second, fifth round pick out of Fresno State cornerback. Also to play safety, we'll have to see how he does. He's a pretty decent player, though. Like I said, the Cowboys' first round pick wasn't too good, but after that, it seems like uh, they're getting some uh, good players to fill up some key spots. Their third, fifth round pick, number 178, they got John Ridgeway, nose tackle, defensive tackle out of Arkansas. First Razorback drafted by the Cowboys since Felix Jones back in 2008. He won the state wrestling title at Bloomington, which means he'll be in the trenches, moving offensive linemen around, pushing them around, being a bully, getting in after the quarterback, and former freshman All-American. So, don't know too much about uh, about him, but uh, oh wait, on my bad. I just uh, I just um, described Damon Clark. Number 176 overall pick, the Cowboys linebacker, Damone Clark, out of LSU. He was all those things. <laughs> My bad. <clears throat> Damone Clark, don't know nothing really about him, but he comes from LSU, linebacker. Um, another fifth-round pick, John Ridgeway, the nose tack out of Arkansas. You know, he is the wrestler. Look for him to get up to the quarterback. Don't know too much about him either, but he's got a nice size and defensive tackle. Like I said, we got a lot of spots we need to fill right now. So finally in the sixth round, Devin Harper, another linebacker out of Oklahoma State. The Cowboys have their eye on him. He's mainly going to be playing special teams, but our linebacker uh, right now, I think we only got Van Der Esch and uh, um, Jabril Cox coming back from injury. Van Der Esch, he's always hurt. And we got, uh, oh my God, Micah Parsons, couldn't think of his name. Pretty much rookie of the year, defensive player of the year last year. Breakthrough player, rookie. So those are those were the only three linebackers we had on staff before. Now we draft two more linebackers. So we're counting on them to play. Like I said, Sam Williams, he's the edge, but he could play, play linebacker too. Um, Look for all those players to fill their spots. Some of them are going to play, some of them aren't. But if it all works out, then uh, 
you know, we'll be all right. Hopefully Sam Williams and then um, our, our wide receiver that we got, they sh they're expected to turn out, so if they do. Like I said, in the sixth round, we've got Devin Harper, linebacker out of Oklahoma State. He's going to be playing special teams mainly, but if someone gets hurt, injury, there'll be a spot for him in the linebacking core. Those are all the Cowboys picks. What do you guys think? Who did your team pick? Uh, Cowboys fans, did you like that first round pick? It could go either way. From a name value, we don't like it. And the position, we don't like it because we were going to move still to tackle. So we really, really didn't want to tackle unless there was like a franchise um, tackle available, which there wasn't. They plan on moving Tyler to guard. We'll see if that works. Um, if it does pan out and he becomes a good player like Zach Martin did, then it'll be a good pick and everything will be good. But if not, you know, it's just going to be another wasted pick. Um, Cowboys usually do good in the draft. They never have problems with that. So he should pan out. We should be able to put, plug him in at the guard right away from game one. But our center play too, badass. I was kind of happy when they drafted him, but he didn't really play too good last year. He seems undersized. He's getting pushed around. I would much rather would have got Tyler Linderbaum with that first round pick and then drafted another guard in the second round. I think that's we're going to regret passing up that pick. So what do you guys think? What you guys? Who did you guys? Uh, who did you guys as a team pick? Who's your favorite draft pick from your team? Cowboys fans, how would you rate this draft? I would rate it at around a C, but you never know until after, because if these players step up, like Sam Williams and then Tolbert, the, re the wide receiver, then it could turn out to be an A. Decent draft, not too good. Uh, last year's draft was way better. Really no name players this year. Um, like I said, if some of the players pan out, we'll be all right. So Cowboys fans, what do you think about that first round pick? It's whatever. The rest of the draft, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Shout out to Kevo Kevorkin, the 40 ounce king. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Blaze One Sports.